Watching a dancer near the river Daro, I'm awake in a cave just this once. He bites his shoulder, wields a hammer of the inner ear, builds rivalry, a device, a birthplace, wasted by discipline, this figure whose damage, whose night world knows no partition. He circles tea-colored shadow, a slender, hard way to get from here to there. Far down, he is a knife's edge among pilings, silence, the ash pit's frosted heap. My life caught fire once, holier, idle, that cave where hair won't dry. I wake, have you, doing the one push-up that matters. I've lost my eyeglasses, and in the melted ice cream, gray heads roll and bob. I have a wife whose tears are sequins, they see, they flash. I have a child whose mouthfuls of amniotic fluid tell of a dark, wet full alone on the sleigh track to the surface. I choke up for the dance. Words like water, get it, pomegranate, stamped out like holes in a belt. Sometimes my love or I will shout like this, banging through kitchen drawers for batteries, a little jolt for a good move, dog-like, drained and flushed. We are like those hanging soundproof panels keeping this to ourselves. With Slow force, the dancer kneels. His hand rubs the stage, spreads sugar like that, preparing salmon for the flame. As if at an edge, as if grazed by blackened transfers of weight or spear tip terrors, he leaps. Taller, thinner, he tries the attic door, antler orchid on splintered wood. He discerns a chalky berm of sound, his eyes fixed on some witchy middle distance, and his cheeks flags lighting up. He grinds his mother's trifles into powder, more powder. Sybil is there in fractured glimpses. Metal in his shoes spawns a ghostly bridge below his feet to Saturn, to the armory. Our way is dust, as if saluting death's jagged satin. Air of it, half talc, half bourbon, 
our thighs in heated agreement tilt toward the earth as expert hands rifle my pocket. Shoelace, passport, even my fillings are gone. You ever try to keep it together with only your teeth in your mouth? Somewhere, my forgetful, my nameless child, somewhere you grapple, you crown into entanglement, a dismal, locked-up mortgage. Every night it's like this. Winding stairs, crushed jasmine, drowning today, tomorrow hanging. The dancer faces on the boards as anxiety pours its chalk into my beer. That's when I stand with last year's grief glistening in my beard. It shines like cooked fat, white rind of the dog's eyes, dog wild, eating shit. My wife peels grapes tensely, her shoulders like closing wings. You know how it is. Some days we pull the joists from heaven, faucets and their pipes thunder empty, and in the downpour, the dancer leads us tramping through folly that begets extinguishment in the trance of sorrow. He gets thinner, I get fatter with the same punctual derangement. Not long and the dancer will deliver neatly his ramatar beneath my third and fourth rib as winged ants, drunk again, shelter in place. Young one, there is a horse where I am headed. And today its mother grazes fitfully among the orchard's rotten pears. There is faint snow as runoff overflows where my failed life met yours on the road. I cross a bridge now with a fire walking behind me. Go safe, go safe, my child. Come close. By the pious order of his descendants. He carries a miniature piano on his back, searches for one screw and not its copy. The trick is passing your hand over a black stone wall. To avoid others with their hefty sacks or voluminous pockets, he pleads at a distance, Are you pretending? Have you got it? Through cloth or paper mask. From clots of milk, a masticating night flow with its frail bones returns to him time and time again. Non-disclosures stiffen him from birth. Treacheries fly from the vertebra. Nerve tracing whistles its high concern. Blank as smoke piano keys press and release a skitter of eulogized, resented tritones. Like a snail, he celebrates with second cousins an anti-festival launching from every trash bin. A rat 
stealthily gropes into the sky, its belly fat sponges a mute darkness. Mm -hmm.